my friends, it's Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time and I want to apologize. Usually I try to get videos up twice a week, but lately they've been kind of averaging once a week because it's been a crazy summer. So I apologize for that. We're going to get back on track very soon. But today's video is another all about Gabby. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm going to go over some basic commands for guide dogs because if you didn't know, I am blind and Gabby is my guide dog. She's a black lab. She's kind of like sitting beside me here, actually sleeping beside me. But as soon as I go toward the front door to grab her leash, she's gonna hop up. What I mean by that is she's going to come to me and be excited. So let's get into it. So she's a guide dog. She was trained at Guide Dogs of America. And there's a lot of basic commands that um, guide dogs know. Um, and they, it kind of varies from school to school, but there's a lot of basics that every school has. And so I'm gonna show you some of those right now or tell you rather, and there will be a fun little surprise demonstration at the end of this video here, so stay tuned. Um, right now, I'm gonna walk to my front door and I'm gonna grab her leash and harness and she will probably get excited, so here goes. I have a little wall hanging at this door here. I have all sorts of things hung up, like my purse and things I take with me. So now here comes Gabby, because I grabbed her leash and here's her harness. And I'm grabbing, I'm gonna walk back over here and I'm gonna show you how I get her ready to go. So, every guide dog, the four basic commands that every guide dog puppy is trained or is taught when they're in their puppy raising homes is come, sit, stay, and heal. Some schools don't use stay. I know one school that uses rest, but it means the same thing. So, Gabby knows come really well and sit and stay and heal. We're still kind of working on. She's really good, but sometimes she is a little off. So, we're going to see how this goes. Gabby, heal. And heal basically means she's going to my left side. That's a good girl. She did it. She healed very well. So I'm putting her leash on now. Heal basically means I tap my leg. She comes to my left side and that's where she will stay. You're such a good girl. Sit. Oh, good girl. You're so good. So right now I'm going to put her harness on because um, we're going to go do a little demonstration for you guys. So here's her harness. This is, you've probably seen this in other videos. It's Guide Dogs of America harness. A lot of schools have different harnesses, um, but this is the one Gabby has. It's a standard harness. Um, so I'm gonna take the belly strap. I'm gonna show you how I put it on her. She loves this, by the way. Come here, Gabs. And I'm gonna slip it over. Oh, <laughs> she's too excited. I'm gonna slip it over her head like this. So it's all the way around her. And then I'm gonna take this belly strap and go under her belly. And I'm gonna hook it. And then everything that, or the thing I have to do every time is take her leash and pull it out of the harness so that it doesn't get tangled. And there we go, she's all harnessed up and ready to go sit. So first, before we do this little demonstration, I'm gonna to talk to you about some commands that guide dogs all know. So a guide dog, as you know, works in harness. This harness that I just put on has a handle, and when you hold onto the handle, they guide a blind person. And when they are, like I said, in their puppy raising homes, they learn you know, the basic commands and how to be you know, socialized and housebroken and all that. And then when they go on to their formal guide dog training at the school, they learn things like forward, right, left, halt, things like that, hop up, which basically means you're distracted, let's focus. So we're gonna go outside right now and I'm gonna demonstrate this for you. This is exciting. All right, Gabby, she's gonna get really excited now because I'm gonna open the door and we're going to go out where I will keep explaining this. Here we go, out we go, out of our house, it is hot. My goodness, so we're gonna come a little bit out. There we go. So Gabby is gonna show you guys what I mean right now. Basically, I will tell her forward if I wanna go straight, and if I'm gonna turn, it'll be right or left. In this case, I'm gonna do a moving right turn, which basically means I'm going to start signaling her with my hands like this, and she's going to move right with my signal. And she's so excited right now. And when I tell her forward, I always put my left foot out like this, forward like this, and then I kind of signal with my hand forward and then she knows to go straight. When we want to go left, then I will, you know, cue my hand the other direction. And then when we want to stop, it's halt. And like I said, and then hop up just means like if she gets distracted by sniffing a dog or a plant, then I'll say hop up and she'll continue. Hop up can also mean speed up. Steady means to slow down. So those are all the basic commands. There's also formal turns. I showed you moving turns, but formal turns is basically when I'm halted and I want her to turn right or left. I'll basically, if it's a left turn, I will move my feet like this and turn her left. If it's a right turn, I'll move my feet back and turn her right. So that's how that is. Now let's do this. You ready, Gabby? We're gonna, I'm gonna take you right now to the gate where I would normally go out to take an Uber, like to the grocery store or to work, and Gabby knows exactly where we're going. There's gonna be a right turn up ahead and I'm gonna tell her when that is. Gabby, forward. 
Oh, yes. Here we go, good girl. Got me right, right. Good girl. See, she knew to turn right up there because I cue her. And she's going to stop at these tactile domes up ahead. Good girl. But she's trying to stop at corners or domes or curves or fairs. That's a good girl. Good girl. And I'm gonna give her a treat. I usually don't, but she's so good that she gets a treat. That's a good girl. All right, well, now, this is the surprise demonstration. We're gonna turn around. And I gave her her commands, but this time, I'm just gonna simply tell her go home. And not, I'm gonna say this, not all guide dogs can do this. This is definitely something that we've worked on. This is not something they're trained to do, because you can't just tell a dog to go to Starbucks or McDonald's. You know, but you have to give them, you know, verbal directions right, left. But in this case, Gabby is so used to where we live now that I could tell her go home and she goes right there with no directions. So let's see how she does. Ready, Gabs? Gabby, forward, go home. Let's go home. And she starts running. Gabby's steady. There's a good girl. She knows. Let's go home. Yes, that's a good girl. Oh, this is so exciting. She knows where we're going, yay. What a good girl, yes she does. Oh, good girl, yay. Good girl. Good girl, we're almost there. Yes, go home. Get the hop up. She's a little distracted, but now she's back on track. Good girl, almost there, hop up. good girl you did it so as you can see she is so smart and so trained and I am so glad you guys watched today thank you so much I hope that was informative and we will see you in the next video bye